While there have been doctored images in the past spreading false claims that former First Lady Michelle Obama was a man, prior to marrying her husband, that's exactly all they were, fake. Michelle Obama, wife to former President Barack Obama, has been in the public eye for years. And along her journey, she's also shared plenty of throwback photos from her childhood, as well as from early on in her and Barack's relationship. Today, we'll look at Michelle's before and after transformation and you'll come to find that the 59 year old's appearance has remained largely the same for the most part. It's difficult to think of a first lady more influential these days than Michelle Obama. While her husband, former President Barack Obama, is no longer running the country, she has always remained one of his closest confidants, teammates, and his loudest cheerleader. Michelle was by Barack's side throughout his two terms as commander in chief, where the Obamas were the first African American family in the White House. The couple has been married since 1992 and shared two daughters, Molly and Sasha, who are now in their early 20s. While she was first lady, Michelle promoted a healthy lifestyle among Americans, encouraging them to be active and eat healthy foods. She's also released a couple of books and there was a documentary released based on her memoir too. Back in the day, Michelle LaVon Robinson was a young, bright-eyed woman born in 1964 in Chicago's South Side where she was also raised. She attended Princeton University and then rocked the academic world by graduating from Harvard Law School. But little did she know her life was about to take a turn that would change not only her world, but the world at large. Fast forward to the early 2000s, when Michelle met a certain charismatic senator named Barack Obama. Their love story filled with warmth and affection captured our hearts as we witnessed the rise of America's power couple. With her signature style and grace, Michelle became a role model for women across the nation. And then came the momentous occasion, Barack's inauguration as the 44th President of the United States. Michelle stepped into her role as First Lady with her characteristic poise and authenticity. She championed causes close to her heart like healthy eating through her Let's Move campaign and support for military families through joining forces. Her sense of duty and dedication to the American people was truly remarkable. But Michelle's transformation wasn't just about her public image. It was also a personal journey of self-discovery. Her fashion sense evolved showcasing her impeccable taste in clothes that made headlines around the globe. Who could forget those fashion fabulous inaugural gowns that left us all in awe. As her time in the White House came to an end, Michelle didn't choose to rest just yet. Instead, she channeled her energy into writing her memoir, Becoming, which became an instant bestseller. In its pages, she shared her story, her dreams, and her aspirations, inspiring millions to pursue their own passions and goals. Post White House life has seen Michelle's star continue to shine. She's maintained her advocacy work, including promoting education for girls worldwide and addressing issues of inequality. Her charisma and eloquence on the public speaking circuit have left audiences spellbound, proving that her influence extends far beyond politics. However, Michelle Obama's evolution over the years has not only been marked by her achievements, but also by her stunning physical transformation and style. Let's take a moment to appreciate how she has consistently impressed us with her elegance and grace. In her early years, Michelle possessed a natural beauty that radiated from within. Her glowing smile and warm demeanor were always front and center, making her approachable and relatable to people from all walks of life. Her signature cropped bob haircut framed her face perfectly, and her fashion choices, while classic, hinted at the style icon she would become. As she transitioned into the role of First Lady of the United States alongside her husband Barack Obama, Michelle's physical transformation became more apparent. She adopted a healthy lifestyle focusing on exercise and nutrition, which resulted in her lean and toned physique. Her commitment to health and fitness was not only inspiring, but also a reflection of her dedication to promoting a healthier America. But it's not just her physique that captured our attention. Michelle's style evolution has been nothing short of spectacular. From her memorable inauguration gowns to her casual everyday looks, Michelle has proven time and time again that she knows how to make a statement without saying a word. One of Michelle's trademarks has been her ability to mix high-end designer pieces with affordable fashion, making her style accessible to women everywhere. She often showed off emerging designers, giving them a platform to showcase their talent. Her wardrobe was a perfect blend of classic elegance and contemporary flair, with bold patterns, vibrant colors, and modern silhouettes. 
Of course, who can forget her arms? Michelle's well-defined arms became a symbol of strength and confidence. Her commitment to fitness not only improved her physical health, but it also served as an inspiration to countless individuals striving for a healthier lifestyle themselves. As her time as first lady came to a close, Michelle's style didn't fade into the background. If anything, it became more refined and evolved to reflect her post-White House life. Whether attending high-profile events, launching her memoir, or speaking on various platforms, she continued to set the standard for timeless and sophisticated fashion. Despite false rumors that have circled the web in the past, such as the doctored or fake photos, joking that Michelle was once a male, we can see from her journey in pictures that there is is no way that that's even believable. Even the real image in question had been posted and you can just see how much it was photoshopped. Spotting the fake edits didn't take long after seeing Barack himself share the original picture. All of the other images of Michelle Obama in her childhood, adolescence, and womanhood further debunk these claims. Well, after looking at Michelle Obama's physical transformation and style over the years, we can see how this former first lady, mother, and more has always had a special charm and class to her. Her journey from a poised lawyer to an elegant first lady to a global style icon has left a mark on the world. Her commitment to health, her radiant beauty, and her impeccable fashion sense serve as a testament to her enduring influence and inspiring legacy. Michelle Obama continues to be a role model for women everywhere, reminding us that we can achieve greatness while staying true to ourselves and our unique style. While it's time to wrap up this before and after video, before we go, answer this question for me. How would you maintain your own personal style and edge if you were in a prestigious position such as being the first lady? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and if you would like to stay tuned for another video, up next, we're going to dive into the residences of the Obamas for a house tour. Bye! Hard as it is to believe, former United States President Barack Obama hasn't called the White House home for seven years now. And while moving out of one of the most famous residences in the planet was definitely difficult, at least Barack and his family had a series of gorgeous homes to fall back on. Barack cut his political teeth in the city of his wife, Michelle's birth, Chicago, Illinois. As he climbed up the ranks on his path towards becoming Illinois State Senator in 2000, Barack and Michelle bought a home on Chicago's south side in the neighborhood of Kenwood for $1.65 million. Roughly 6,400 square feet in size, this home had undergone a high-end renovation just a handful of years before the Obamas purchased it, including the addition of Chinese wash basins, mahogany bookcases, and a granite kitchen floor. Since moving into this property some 20 years ago, Barack and his family have kept a low profile in terms of showing off the interior of this space probably because they haven't spent all that much time here since Barack's move to the White House in 2008. At the time of its purchase, however, this was an ideal home for a now senator, and it remains such a beautiful spot that the Obamas have kept it in their portfolio while spending the vast majority of their time living only a few minutes away from their former address at the White House. Situated in the exclusive neighborhood of Kalorama in Washington, D.C., the Obama family made the decision to buy this home after spending a few months leasing it following Barack's exit from office. They decided to make this their permanent home so that their youngest daughter, Sasha, would be able to complete her high school education in Washington without having to change schools. She's since managed to earn her diploma, but the family has actually decided to stick around anyways. That might have something to do with the fact that the property is a gorgeous 8,200 square foot Tudor style mansion with nine bedrooms that sits on a quarter acre of land. Inside the estate, you'll discover marble floors all throughout that provides a luxurious sense from the very moment you first enter the place. 
This home is also notable for containing not one, but two kitchens. One is an Eden with stainless steel appliances, tall white cabinets, as well as marble countertops to complement the flooring. The second is quite a bit smaller, more like a galley kitchen, and is probably used most when someone in the family needs a quick fix as opposed to a full course meal. Walking through a nearby Gothic style doorway will lead you directly into the home's gorgeous dining room, where Barack and Michelle have no doubt entered some of the biggest names in the entire world over the past few years. Speaking of entertaining, there's also numerous other spaces for the family to kick back and relax, either on their own or with company, like inside of this epic formal living room. And if they're looking for something a little more down to earth, they can always move things into the nearby family room with its floor to ceiling windows that look out towards the property's backyard. Meanwhile, upstairs, you'll find the home's bedroom wing, including a master suite with more than enough space for an epic king-sized bed as well as eight for their bedrooms, two of which belong to Obama's daughters, Sasha and Malia. Sasha is said to be lucky enough to have her very own suite in the home, complete with a separate living area. What's more, Sasha reportedly designed the space herself, at least that's what Michelle once told Ellen back in 2018. Since Sasha got so lucky with her massive bedroom, that meant Barack had to cut back a bit on his office, which provides all the necessary equipment he might need. But it is maybe just a little light on square footage. Last but not least, the home also includes a totally finished basement while providing the Obama family with a lush green space out back that provides plenty of room for not only the kids, but the family pets as well. Of course, as nice as the Obama's primary home is, it's not like they're going to spend all of their time living out of Washington. Sometimes they need a break. And when they do, they head to Martha's Vineyard. In June 2017, Barack Obama and his family finalized the purchase of an $11.75 million waterfront home situated on nearly 30 acres of Martha's Vineyard, a very affluent island located just south of Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Designed by Taylor Lombardo Architects, this summer home was first built in 2001, and the Obamas fell in love with the location while visiting it for their annual getaway from the White House. Having developed such a passion for the place, once Barack had a bit of free time on his hands, he decided to put down some roots in the very same gorgeous villa his family used to rent every summer by purchasing the property. The home had been on the market since 2015 when it was originally listed for $22.5 million. Barack would only wind up spending about half of that when he made it his own two years later. For all that money, he and his family got an expansive 6,892 square foot house fronting the beautiful Edgar Town Great Pond while also providing views of the Atlantic Ocean. Inside the home boasts seven bedrooms, eight and a half baths, as well as several stone fireplaces. Much like their home in Washington, this property has been designed with entertaining in mind which means there's also an expansive kitchen as well as a dining room that provides one of a kind views of the nearby water. When it comes time for relaxation, Barack's family can unwind in the family room that offers plenty of space, as well as the architectural details that give the home plenty of character. Upstairs, the property features an elegant master suite complete with a fireplace, dressing room, and ensuite bathroom that provides views across the bay. There's also a stunning galleried living space upstairs with windows windows located on three sides to allow for plenty of natural light. Outside on the surrounding property, you'll discover a detached barn, a pool, raised sun deck, a boathouse, two car garage, and direct access to that pond. Pretty much the ideal place to spend a summer, right? Sure. Then again, if you're as famous as Barack Obama and have that much money, you might want to have options. And recently, he provided himself with exactly that. Back in 2015, Barack began to think about his eventual retirement. That's when he scooped up three acres of land in the community of Waimanalo on the island of Oahu in Hawaii for $8.7 million. Here's a fun fact about this piece of property. The home that previously sat here was the house featured in Magnum P.I. starring Tom Selleck. That structure was originally constructed in 1933 and was one of the most famous houses in the island. 
But at the time Barack bought the land, it had fallen into disrepair. Rather than salvage the home, Barack demolished the historical property in 2018. For a while after that, the land was left alone. But now, crews are finally getting around to landscaping the grounds, which is usually what occurs towards the end of construction. So it's quite possible that the Obama's Hawaii home will be ready to spend time in as soon as this summer. Only it doesn't appear to be complete quite yet. Back in February 2022, Barack visited the site to scope out how the work was progressing and he didn't look thrilled. Turns out he wasn't the only one. Environmentalists were also unhappy because the Obamas discovered a loophole in Hawaii law that allowed them to keep a seawall on the premises. One that is believed to be perhaps causing erosion to the coastline. Scientists suggest that while seawalls protect what's located behind them, they do the exact opposite to what is in front of them, preventing beaches from migrating inland. And they're one of the main causes of beach loss throughout Hawaii. As for what the Obama home will look like once it's finally completed, well, we're not entirely sure. The records suggest that there will be three structures located on site, with one of these presumably being for Secret Service. There will also be two swimming pools. All right, everyone, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. Thank you so much for watching. And before you leave, consider answering the following question. If you used to lead an entire country, would you stick around the capital or get as far away as possible once you were out of office? Let me know if you would have stuck around like Barack did in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, and thanks again for joining me. Don't go anywhere yet, because coming up next is our look into the homes of Donald Trump. I'll see you all next time. Bye.